Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Lanzarote. We are Jan and Janneke, and today we'll be taking you with us to meet one of the most famous timple luthiers here on the island. The timple is a guitar-like instrument that is unique to the Canary Islands, and he is one of the few who still practice this traditional craft today. His name is Vicente Corujo, and this is his house. Vicente leads us directly to his workshop, where he will take us through different parts of the building process. Here he is working on the soundboard, the top of the timple's body. It is made of cedar wood and therefore has a very pleasant smell. He is currently gluing the individual elements of the rosette, which will later decorate the sound hole. Precision and finesse are essential. Since Vicente also has many international customers, I ask him, how does it actually work when someone wants to buy such a template? Most buyers contact him via the internet. He used to have Facebook, but as it took him too much time, he eventually got rid of it. There were just too many requests to answer. Life is better without Facebook, he says. The glue he applies is something very special. It is made from rabbit bones and skin and has a particularly strong adhesive power. It is called rabbit glue and is often used in instrument making. En Alhambra de Granada también ponían piezas de madera pegadas con este este tipo de de pegamento. Y es ese tipo es por un The timple he is currently building is for a gentleman from La Palma, one of the other eight Canary Islands. Este es para un un hombre que vive en La Palma. Ah, La Palma. Sí, en La Palma. No one knows the exact origins of the timple, but it is believed that it started life here on Lanzarote. He thinks it used to be important to have a small instrument with which you could play at sea in a boat. A guitar, for example, would have been too big. He says that in the Baroque era, guitar and lute instruments were also much smaller, and one could assume that the inhabitants of Lanzarote saw these small guitars somewhere and tried to build them themselves. For this, they used whatever they had at their disposal. For example, water pumpkins. Normally, you cut it off up here, make it portable with a rope, and fill it with water to drink. To build the instrument, they cut it open lengthwise and attach a neck. Sometimes they fasten one, two, or even three strings. But when they saw that European instruments had even more strings, they decided they wanted more on their instruments as well. 
The predecessors of the timple were brought to the island by Spanish, Italian and Portuguese musicians. Variations of the timple can even be found in South America. Here on the island, there was a timple luthier named Simon Morales. He was actually a shipbuilder, but at festivities he got more and more attention for his self-built timples, so that he is now one of the most famous pioneers of timple construction on Lanzarote. Originally, they said tiple. The M was added later. Y siempre, siempre se puede ver eh, eh, dos músicos, un músico toca... Since you often encounter the timple accompanied by guitars and basses, I ask him if there are also pure timple ensembles. Los hombres tocan el timple, todos los hombres eh, juntos, ¿sabes? Es, 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 es difícil porque... He says that it didn't develop that way in the tradition, first because it was much more difficult to get a timple than a guitar, for example. And yet the timple has a very strong dominant sound, so it is capable of asserting itself even with ten guitars, similar to a violin in an orchestra. Entonces, claro, al ser más difícil, pero también es verdad que un solo instrumento como un timple es capaz de, de hacerle frente a, a diez un poco, sí. Ahora sí, tengo las manos llenas de pegamento. Now Jan holds a timple in his hand for the first time. The timple has only five strings compared to the guitar and is also tuned differently. It is tuned like a ukulele, although it has one more string. It also requires a different technique for the right hand, similar to the one used for flamenco playing. Now Vicente prepares everything for the fine tuning of the timple neck. It consists of four previously glued elements. Estos son varias piezas, ¿ves? Aquí hay una pieza, otra pieza, otra pieza. Son tres, cuatro piezas. Mm. Diferentes. You can see that a lot of skill and patience are required until the neck is finally playable.
Little by little, a smooth, soft surface is created from the once rough wood of the neck using chisels, planes, and sandpaper. Mochi, ese es un perro mío. Mochi. Next, Vicente draws the holes on the bridge through which the strings will later pass. This requires millimeter precision work so that the distances between the strings are the same. The bridges of the timples he builds are made of camel bones. Cattle bones are often used for this in guitar building, but camel bones are much thicker and stronger, and hence help to make the sound louder and clearer. La tibia está muy rígida, muy fuerte, y el sonido también lo transmite muy bien. No es lo mismo que un hueso de vaca. No es tan fuerte, no es tan cristal como, ¿sabes? Calculating the distances between the frets is a highly mathematical matter. Since our Western tone system knows 12 tones, the distances from the empty string to the 12th fret, where the octave sits and therefore the frequency doubles, must exactly reflect the half tones known to us. De 4.40. Pero aquí, en el traste 12, da 8.80, que es la octava por encima, ¿sabes? Uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. y, y aquí hay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, ¿no? 12 trastes. Se ha repetido una constante que hay una relación entre este y este y este. Hay una constante que se esto va a es, es, Esto es el largo de la cuerda, ¿no? Este es el largo de la cuerda la longitud, lo que mide de aquí a aquí, ¿no? Pues entonces, si yo multiplico... Si if you know the length of the string, you can use a formula to calculate the size of the first fret. Pues yo multiplico 40 centímetros por lo que habíamos dicho aquí, raíz doceava de 2, te da el primer traste, este traste. Esta suma aquí, Es, es, sería es, esta es, distancia sí, es, 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 sí, sí. Okay. entonces si tú aquí podrías seguir ahora restando esto y multiplicando restando y multiplicando y irías sacando todos los trajes pero también si lo quieres hacer de esta manera aquí sale una perpendicular así no que con, con un compás mido aquí Y hago así y marco ahí. 
Entonces después coge con, con la, desde el punto este de aquí. If you draw the length of the first fret in a right angle at one end of the string and connect it with the other end of the string, you can mark the remaining frets with a compass. Each fret becomes increasingly smaller the closer it gets to the other end of the string. Mido esto. Y ahora, aquí lo ponemos así. Y yo ya mar tengo este marcado y tengo esta línea que viene aquí, ¿no? Entonces yo, aquí en perpendicular, ¿sabes? En un ángulo recto, saco esta. Y ahora, ¿dónde está el compás? Y ahora el compás lo mido aquí. Y bajo un poco. Y marco ahí. Y ahora otra vez. Hago así. Mido ahí. Y ahora mido la distancia que hay entre este y esta. Y otra vez marca ahí. Y así sucesivamente. Esto va haciendo así, y después así, y así, y así, y así, y así. Y así se hacen los trastes que después van aquí a la distancia. This is the first time, by the way, that I myself understand how the construction of frets work, even though it is so simple, for Senti Joe. Vicente has cleaned everything up so nicely before our visit that he is now struggling to find anything. Next, he drills the previously marked holes into the bridge. Again, he has to work with great precision, otherwise the bridge would become unusable. Ahora le ponemos esto para dar el ángulo, porque esto tiene que tener un ángulo así. Solo tener una pieza preparada con el ángulo, lo uno la pieza y es más fácil. Aquí. Bueno, pero eso ya no está. Ahora hay que cepillar esto por aquí abajo. Now it's time to grind. The bridge, which is still straight, will be adapted to the curvature of the top of the timber. Now the shape is perfect and fits exactly to the top of the template. 
This machine here is a bit older and therefore always needs a little jump start. Vicente uses a rope to do this, a very handcrafted solution. <laughs> At the sides, the bridge is now flattened a little. Then the final polish follows and the bridge is finished. In the next step, the curved side walls of the timple are produced. They are made of wenge wood, which comes from Africa. It is very resistant and has a high density, which makes it ideal for the sides. Usually, other woods are used for the sides, such as rosewood, but this is now forbidden. Since rosewood is now protected, Vicente uses wenge wood because it has a similar sound to rosewood. We can hear for ourselves how well it is suited for sounding. You can actually hear the whole wood singing. <laughs> Vicente now cuts out the sides of the piece of wenge wood, a bit like cutting a wafer thin slice of bread from a loaf. Is the thickness for the sides always the same? Vicente tells us that thicker sides provide a full and long lingering tone, while thinner sides provide more volume and assertiveness. However, the tone does not linger for very long. The grinding of the sides also requires an enormous amount of manual work. Mm -hmm.
Quita más. The tool has to be sharpened every few minutes because it quickly dulls due to the high friction heat. This device is used to shape the sides. First they are moistened and then heated with a heating mat. Then they are clamped in the fixture. This is from an old silicon gun and is perfect for shaping the sides. The heating mat is heated to 120 degrees Celsius to make the wood flexible. Vicente shows us the paint he's using. It is dissolved in high-proof alcohol and smells very intense. If he applies it, he can't drive a car afterwards, he joked. The varnish consists of a certain type of beetle from India. You could actually eat the paint, or in fact the whole template, because nothing in the construction process is toxic. Primero se da así, haciendo ochos para que tape los poros, ¿sabes? Cuando haces así, el, el barniz se va manteniendo, manteniendo y, y, y va, va cubriendo. The varnish is applied and then a very fine powder of volcanic rock is dabbed on to close the micropores of the wood. Vicente proudly shows us his temple from Simon Morales, almost the Stratovarius of Lanzarote. Simon Morales was, as already mentioned, the first famous temple luthier of Lanzarote. A temple like this would sell for about 60,000 euros. <laughs> 